Hello everyone, Basif here, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last episode was all cutscenes and dialogue, pretty much, so hopefully we move ahead with a little bit of storyline, something progression, something, something, something. Anyway, uh, without trying to talk too much, let's just go ahead and get right into the rest of the game. Well, that sucks. Oh, he's still alive. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream. I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. That's what he just told you. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha, I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. That was a cool shot. Wait. Hear that? So I'm gonna smell it. Jack him up. Ghouls. I already forgot the buttons. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Met me, bro. This guy. Oh crap! I meant yeah. This. There we go. Now I'm gonna make him hide. Get off my horse, chump. Oh, oh, no. Alright, guess I'm targeting this guy. I need to this way. Oh, oh I 
should probably be doing this stuff, right? So back. Ow. Chop him in the face. Got him. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Of course. Right. An army's past necrophages follow them. Let's go you before any more. By show eating up. or drinking or meditating for an hour. Okay, I'm on the blood of broken bones. Meditation does not regenerate. Ooh, that's rough. Food drinking be placed in consumable slots for combat. Press blah or hold blah to consume them. You have some food equipped in your upper. So press blah to not eat it. How do I know what I have there though? Double press L. Here, eat something. Oh, okay. Here to mount it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I, why are you gonna let me eat the food? I'm pushing the button. Alright, well, apparently I can't eat. But, I believe that's gonna have to be it for this episode. Pretty much all cutscenes. Sorry about that, but it kind of is what it is. But, uh, my name is Evasive. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment if you so desire. But more importantly, Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or even open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That's an extremely rewarding experience. Again, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Later! Hello everyone, my name is Vasive, and this is Witcher. We just got past all that brutal, brutal, brutal tutorial stuff. It was actually really good, but it took pretty much an entire episode to get through it. But hopefully this is actually where the game is, and let's Ever get tell you in about on this sorcerer I knew. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Yeah, my horse's name is Roach. They must trek across. Yay! I didn't read the last part. Look at Demi. Old aid and because we can while moving to Candor. Okay. from their blood. <laughs> no, because by eating rotting Wait a minute! Oh, get off! Epidemics. How do I stop? How do I stop? Hmm. Did you know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him Can too. I ma His theory collapsed. Do these guys have loot? No. Stop, 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 stop. Dismount. Hold B. Got it. Aha! They do have loot. Let's I need go. these. And black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Gimme. Gimme. Is there an auto loot all? Is there one over here? One more. Take all. Why? Got it. All right. Um, dude killed one. Did I loot the one that he killed? I think I did. All right, cool. Hop up, Mr. Roach. Good horsey. Get go, in. go. Hey there. not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going.
Where's it gone? Yeah. Come out. Nice haircut, dude. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Nah. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. That's very but harrowing. There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad oh. idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Okay. Can I eat now? Eat. Eat. How come I can't eat? It said I just had to push up. Dumb. Gideon. Oh, I was gonna say there was an auto follow path in Breath of the Wild that was awesome. Ah, oh, so cool. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Does that mean I can actually run through? Quickly, or should I, you know, just nicely gallop? Too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard, and we should leave as soon as yeah. we learn it. I want that. I want those Take stuff. It easy. Gotta hold it. I'm holding it. Hey, geese. Goose. Look at this one. Look at them. Love them. Stay away from me and my family. Jeez, sorry, lady. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. If they're not friends, why are they sitting together? I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Really? You gonna say something to something that slaughters monsters? Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? 
alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Oh. Shop panel. Show me what you got. I'm pretty sure we have no money yet. Come on, controller. There it goes. Must be running out of batteries or something. Keeps turning off. Uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Show me what you got behind the counter. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Uh, okay. Okay. What was that? Roasted chicken leg. Gwent cards. Alright. Bunch of those. There's my money. Got my money up top 250 something. Looks like it. Wonder what that's called. Coin. Crown. That was it. That was it. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'll be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes. Dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor that was smelled a way better such description a than I believe I'd remember. Do. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. that up please I'm not decrepit yet then I'll ask about Yennefer mm-hmm just remember we'd rather not draw any attention yeah. black one's been out measuring the fields let him measure better that than burning the harvest it's oh, yeah. you're dumber than a headless cockerel yes what is it wolf oh she stands up Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan. May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Whoa. Okay. See you later, Vesemir. Did not know that we aged like that. Hey, dudes. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. Or your breath sours my beer. Dude, I will ruin you. I hunt monsters for a living. Make use of the axi sign, signing people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. Nah, <laughs> Jedi mind tricks. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during conversation, invest in the delusion ability. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Raven haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. 
Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. Now, where were we? Enjoy your drink, gentlemen. Strut off. Dum, dum, dum. There are four factions. Hey, you want to say something to me again? Factions, teams, Wait, was suits, it you? Similar to clubs and scouts, yeah, it was you. Except each you want to say something? What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> That's funny. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Geert, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Hi. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Worried about the war, what it's really like. Or go back to your books while you still can't. Sure. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape. Violence and thoughtless cruelty. Indeed. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Not yet. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the that, rules are quite simple. Thing. Come, let's play. Uh. Alright. What's this about? Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Do. Yes. Ancient Dwarven card game. Simulates clash two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. It's a game within a game. This is awesome. Uh, choose a card to redraw. To begin, you draw ten cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Okay. Strength. Total strength. Okay. So that's like arranged. Or I'll boost. Oh. One strength to all units in the same row. That's neat. have these tips like as I'm playing because I'm by no way gonna remember this so like nighttime is bad for 
bows. Ice is bad for swords, makes sense. Rain is bad for ballista. Time to discard, discard one and redraw. Oh, you still like two to discard and redraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to play. Okay, so it's just kind of made me start playing. It's my side, opponent's side. Player, they even place one card on the battlefield for a pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Okay, don't accidentally press X. Press A to select a card from your hand. Press A again to put it on the battlefield. My turn. Alright, let's do, uh... Yeah, sure, uh, foot soldier. The number on the left by your icon... Okay. Shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Got it. Both values you updated when cards played in the end of the round, the player with the highest total strength wins. Okay. During your turn, you can pass by holding down Y. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until the issue passes as well. Just pass when you are confident you can win with the needs you already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save your cards for next round. The run is once both players have passed, the players then compare the total strength to determine the winner. All cards in the battlefield are discarded, and both players to strength to zero. Okay. This is interesting. Oh, douche! one to all units in the row, excluding itself. Yeah. Oh! Dang it! Oh, that was not what I wanted to do! Yeah, this guy's gonna mess me up. Um, I need a row three dude. A ballista. This guy. Oh, dude! Ah, uh, that's like messing up stuff though. How about a sword? I don't have any more swords. I have one more sword. But I feel like that's wasting it. I'm gonna pass. And let him win. round also lose a life gem. The game is over once a player has lost both life gems. Oh, dude. Okay. Probably gonna lose this. Dude. So, I don't understand how this works though, because like, you could just infinitely play, can't you? Like, Shouldn't I just keep playing cards until he passes? Because it's jacked up. And ouch. She's an archer. That messes up me. That messes up sword dudes. my general ability? Is this... Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Blinding Frost. Torrential Rain. Impenetrable fog, would that be... the other weather one? Maybe? Oh man. I'm not good at this game. He's just gonna keep playing, right? Yeah, see? Here we go. Oh no, those are all ranged. God dang it!
Look, I'm wasting all my cards because the douchebag won't give up. That's what impenetrable fog does. Okay, well I'm winning. Hmm. Screw it. Probably gonna lose. See? I don't understand. Dumb. Yeah, I let him win twice. Alright, I suck at this game. Hmm. Well, it's not a game for everyone. Requires an analytical mind. So if you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Cardman. Alright, I think there's one more person to talk to. This one. Looking for a woman. Ugh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. A drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Whoa. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. He's like a genius. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your help. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to road demon. At your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. I kind of like this Listen, guy. Jennifer. Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Yeah. Sure. Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilfgaardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. I like that guy. Friendly old man. He wasn't old at all. Old chap, that's a better word. Alright, well, uh, I believe this is going to have to call it for this episode as well. Another just full of dialogue and cutscenes. Hopefully it picks up soon. I believe the quote-unquote tutorial area is kind of large in this game, if I remember right. Um, but if you guys are enjoying this, please let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. That would help me a lot. Also, more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It's a very rewarding experience. Anyway, I am Vasive. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.